Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done any kind of range test, and I think we're definitely overdue, and what better way to get back to the range than with a CZ? Today we got something really cool for you. We've got an SP01 Tactical. Now I know this model's been out for a while, but we don't test a lot of CZs on this channel, unfortunately. I think it's something that we definitely need to uh, take out more often, and I myself am looking at picking up a Shadow 2. So there's a chance you might see one of those on the channel, but today, the SP01 Tactical, we're gonna put it through its paces, we're gonna give you an accuracy report on it, we're gonna talk about the hand Handling the ergonomics, just tell you what we think about it in general. Okay, we are definitely clear. Uh, if you're not familiar with the SP01 Tactical, this is a semi-automatic pistol. Uh, the Tactical model does have a hammer drop on it, a decocker that you can use, whereas the uh, non-Tactical model just has, I believe, a safety lever, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this particular CZ is on loan to us from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. And Stan has been a longtime supporter of the channel. I want you guys to uh, head on over to SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska, check it out. Contact information is below in the video. All right, ammunition for this test. What are we gonna be taking out for today? Oh, would you look at that precious pot of gold. We're gonna be taking out some 115 grain nine millimeter. Uh, we've got a mix of uh, Federal American Eagle and Fiocchi in here, but we'll make sure that we have mags full of one brand or the other so we have consistent performance. And if you are familiar with this channel, you've seen this ammo in the past. This is a polymer coated bullet. This is a 124 grain nine millimeter that's loaded by Sports Shooters Ammunition. And uh, I happen to know the owner of the company, and this stuff does perform pretty well. You know, for being reloaded ammunition and budget price, it does perform well in just about every firearm I've tested it on. You've seen it in numerous videos, and we're going to see how the 124 grain compares to the 115. And uh, I think we'll head on out to the range. I'm really excited to check these two out, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go and start off with the uh, SP01 Tactical. We're going to go ahead and just put a magazine down range. We're looking at uh, 7 yards. Not anything super long distance, but uh, we're just trying to get used to the shooting and the feel of this particular pistol. Running the 115 grain, let's see, this should be the Federal, oh, this is the Fiocchi. 115 grain Fiocchi ball ammunition, nice and smooth action. All right, let's try it out and see how it runs. We'll start off with the uh, target on the right, we'll go ahead and put a full mag down range. By the way, these are my first shots, let's see how we do. A little low into the left, typical of me. I'm going to aim just a little bit to the right because I'm not going to mess with the sights today. Very comfortable, very low recoil, very smooth. It's really, actually, not that punishing at all to shoot. So what's really nice about it are the grip panels, the way that they fill the hand. Um, you know, they're not just slab slided like a traditional 1911 grip. They kind of bulge out a little bit on the sides. They've got some thumb moldings in them. Not bad at all. Uh, I thought maybe I was going to have some trouble finding a place to rest my thumb with this decocking lever right here. But uh, really, there's plenty of real estate and plenty of space to put your hands on. If the trigger, trigger pull is absolutely fantastic, it's nice and smooth. Now, we're going to go and just do a full, I guess you could say, double action trigger pull. We've got the uh, decocker down. So we've got the hammer halfway down right now. So we're going to have a little bit longer, a little bit heavier trigger pull. Let's see what happens. Put a little more finger on the trigger and see if I can't uh, get those shots a little more recentered. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's great. Nice. It's, it's a heavier trigger pull, and it really does feel like a double action revolver, like a good one. And that's it. All right, so as you can see, the uh, shooting from the target, uh, we had a nice cluster, probably about a three-inch group. We'll go ahead and measure that out once we're done running this ammunition through uh, this pistol. Then we'll switch over and do some of that 124 grain sports shooter's ammunition. <coughs> All right, now for the uh, target on the left, we'll just do five shots in the center target, and then we'll do three, 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 three. Yeah, it should be just something to empty out the mag. <laughs> Try to do the math in my head. Man, this thing is just awesome. Very, it's got a little bit of heft to it, got a little bit of weight to it. It does feel nice and solid in the hand. The balance is, is great. It doesn't feel front heavy. It just has a nice, nice center of gravity, I guess you could say. Um, bore axis is, is fairly low. You know, having that slide in the frame itself, it really does lower everything down for you, which is a great thing. I'm gonna aim just a little bit off to the right, so we'll see what happens right now. We're just going for tightness of groups. 
And I'm not, again, I'm not going to make any adjustments to the sight. So here we go. SP01 Tactical. Great little pistol. Okay, we'll go three shots top left. Putting the front sight right over the bowl. Okay, target on the top right. Okay, bottom left. And bottom right. I think we're going to do four shots. I think I have four rounds left, so we'll see what happens here. All right, let's go ahead and check out our groups and see how we did. We'll bring the target right back here. All right, so let's measure the group with the complete magazine. There we go. A little hard to see with the shadows there. So center to center, we're looking at about two and three quarters inches. You guys can see where my shots are going uh, to the left. To the left, to the left, it could either be me, or maybe we just need a slight adjustment on the pistol itself. That's not bad. All right, let's check out the group here. Wow, the center group with uh, five shots right there in the center. That is pretty impressive. We're looking at about an inch and a quarter. Uh, let's see, worst group. We had a little bit of a flyer in the top right corner. Shade under three inches. And again, this is just shooting that Fiocchi ball ammo, which is a really good ammo, by the way. Uh, let's see, we had four shots down here at the bottom. This group measured out at about an inch and three quarters. Left side, we did lose one shot off the paper. So overall, not bad, not bad. It's a very impressive pistol, very smooth. Just feels like quality when you're shooting it. All right, let's do one magazine of the 124 grain uh, sports shooters ammunition and see how that compares. We'll just do a complete magazine group. All right, here we go, 124 grain sports shooters ammunition. I'm expecting less of a recoil impulse from this because it's a heavier grain round typically that's what i've noticed in the other pistols i've shot this ammo through man this is a wonderful gun it's a great gun all right here we go got a nice audible reset to it oh look at that Whew. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we do have a uh, jam here. All right, that happens from time to time with these reloads. Not that often, though. Okay. I mean, it's just amazing how light the recoil is. If you got somebody who's recoil sensitive when it comes to handguns, give them a nice, solid, sturdy handgun like this. I mean, I think they'll definitely be much more calm on the line when they're shooting it. Just awesome. Trigger is wonderful. There we go. So that's about 17 rounds. All right, let's go and check out that group and see how we did. All right, so performance on this one, I would say it's maybe a little bit better. Let's see if we can get our widest group here. Okay, we are looking at, oh, about three, three and a tenth inch right there. Maybe three and a quarter inch. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Center to center, about two and three, uh, two, about two and three fourths of an inch. Had uh, three shots right there on the center or two. Really good ammunition, man. Definitely even lighter recoil at that 124 grain round. All right, let's bring it back for just a few final words. All right, so my final thoughts on the CZ SP01 Tactical. Here she is. Now check it out, guys. Here's the deal. You've got yourself a nice finish. You've got yourself a solid build. You've got a ton of features. You've got a wonderful trigger. It's got the perfect weight to it. Man, I mean, it is really just a nice all-around handgun. And maybe it's because I don't have a lot of experience with CZs on the channel. But uh, this one is really, really making an impression with me. 
consider it. Consider picking one of these up if you want a good quality built firearm. I think this is definitely going to be the way to go. So prices, let's talk about prices for just a minute here. It is just about July of 2021. And we're looking at anywhere between about, so I think these are $769 locally at my Shields here in Lincoln, Nebraska. A lot of your local gun dealers can get these for you around $760, $750. Uh, otherwise, you're looking at paying around $820. You're going to pay a premium price, but in my opinion, you get a premium experience. You get uh, low recoil, you get a very smooth shot. Man, I mean, you get a wonderful trigger. I can't say enough good things about this. And I mean, and in all disclosure, guys, this is a pistol that's been loaned to me. This is, has, has not been given to me by CZ for T&E. Uh, again, shout out to SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska for loaning this pistol to me. I had a great time shooting it. You've got an 18 plus one capacity. It's just a joy to shoot. I think it would make a nice all around handgun. So if you're somebody who doesn't say like the grip angle of a Glock, maybe you're not sold on the trigger, uh, sold on the trigger of say a Smith & Wesson M&P, consider checking one of these out. There's a lot of people that just don't ever check out the CZ counter whenever they go to their local gun store, but do give it a try. So anyway, this is Travis P11. I want to thank you guys for watching today. Uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe and don't forget to check out Caliber Corner. It is a little podcast that we do Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time over on my channel, Travis P11 on YouTube. But in the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. Get out to the range and do some shooting. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.